This tutorial will explain how to create subframes within your model and how to model failures. Open the intro model made in tutorial 1. Create a new frame in the Facility Components folder by right-clicking on the folder, select New Frame. Rename the frame as indicated. Insert three interface objects from the Material Flow tab in the toolbox. Remember to hold down Ctrl key. Press Escape after all objects are placed. Select the first interface and change the name as indicated. Ensure side is selected as left. Change the position in percentage to 30. Apply changes. Select the second interface and change the name. Side must be left Change position in percentage to 70. Apply changes. Select the third interface and change name to out. Change the side to right. Apply changes. Add two single procs from the material flow tab on the toolbox. Remember to hold down the control key. Press escape. Select the first single proc and press F2. Rename as indicated. Repeat the same process for the second single proc. Double click on punching 1. Go to the Times tab. Change the processing time to 5 minutes. Double click punching 2. Go to the Times tab. Change the processing time to 3 minutes. Connect the objects as shown. Remember to hold the control key. Press escape to deselect the connector when done. Double click punching 1 and go to the failures tab. Ensure the active checkbox is checked. Create a new failure by selecting new. Ensure availability is checked. Change mean time to repair to 20 minutes. Select operating time from the drop down list. Apply changes. This is the first method to model a failure. Double click punching 2. Go to the failures tab. Ensure active checkbox is checked. Add a new failure. Uncheck the availability checkbox. Go to the interval drop-down list and select Uniform. Enter the distribution as indicated. Go to Duration drop-down list and select Uniform Distribution. Enter the distribution as indicated. Select Operating Time from the drop-down list. Apply Changes. This is the second method to model a failure. The subframe must be tested before inserting it into the main model. Select the test models in the class library. Right-click and select New Frame. Rename as indicated. Close all other frames. Insert a source, drain, and events controller from the material flow tab on the toolbox. Drag and drop the comp punching frame from the class library onto the frame. Connect the source and the first interface input. Connect the source and the second interface input. Connect the source and the drain. To set up the exit strategy of the source, double click and go to the exit strategy tab. Check blocking checkbox. Change the drop down list to least recent demand. Apply changes. Set up the events controller. In the settings tab, ensure delete MUs on reset is checked. Enter the end time. Decrease the speed. Reset and run. 
Enter comp punching frame by double clicking on the frame in the test models. Observe that comp punching frame is working. Close all frames. Select plant 1 from the frame. Right click and select duplicate. Rename the frame as indicated. Delete the punching single proc. Drag and drop the comp punching frame into the frame. Connect as previously shown. Set up the events controller. A common error is to forget to set up the extra strategy of the preceding object. You can see that no MUs flow through the process. Go to the resource and set up exit strategy as shown previously. The model will now run.